All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, this video is just to show you that Muslims they don't question Christianity because they have questions. Muslims are copy paste people, and they don't know their religion. Neither they knew ours. It is something I witness for every day. Ignorant in their own, ignorant in ours. The same exactly their God, who do not even know what the Trinity of Christianity is about. The same exactly as their prophet, who know nothing about Christianity, neither about the Jews. The same as their prophet who he say or he claim that Jesus is the nephew of Moses. And both of them, they have the same grandfather, oh, sorry, uh, Mary and Moses, they have the same father. His name is Omran. In the front of us, a female Muslim, her name is Zuha. Zuha, she is saying, and we read together. Answer this. Book of Genesis, chapter, you know, verse number 1, 19, 13, Earth was created on the third days. Book of Genesis, 14, 19, the sun and the moon was created in the fourth day. Science tell us that Earth is part of a parent body Sun, how can Earth be created before the Sun? Is that scientific? I will stop here. Here we see that Muslims, when they ask questions, they not only they prove to us that there, you know, there is a lot of foolishness and ignorance. They are just, they, she just spit on her Quran, and she just left Islam. Because it is your religion who says that the earth was created before the sun. If we go in the Quran, <clears throat> we find the following. I cannot really find uh, the reasons for the ignorance, except ignorance is more popular. It is he who created for you all that on earth. Then he went to the sky and he made them seven heaven. This is your Quran. So you silly, you just said the Quran cannot be true book. Because in your Quran, the earth was created first. If we go to different verse, not only that, the Quran contradicts itself. In one verse, the Quran says that Allah created the trees and the waters and the grass before the stars. In different chapters, he says the opposite. Let us see this. <clears throat> Chapter 41, verse number 11. It says, and I'm reading your own Islamic translation, not mine. Say, Muhammad, do you verily disbelieve in him who created the earth in two days? And he said, revival, whatever, on him. And then he placed therein on earth firm mountains, according to Quran. Allah, he placed the mountains and the top of the earth because the, the earth is like a sheet. And uh, and he says, why? Because the earth will move like a sheet because it's going to fly unless he put the mountains top. Like, you know, the Quran, uh, 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 it's like you have a table in the beach and you have too much wind. So we have put four uh, 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 rocks in the side to make the sheet stable and will not fly. And then he placed firm mountains in the above of it and different verse he says why so it's not going to move on you and then he says and then he went to the sky 
and the sky was a smoke, which means totally was nothing. And then he completed and he finished them. By the way, this is the Muslim translation, not mine, which is funny and silly, but I'm reading whatever they have. In two days, and he gave the heaven its affairs. And then he made the stars. So the last thing in Islam is the stars. So this Muslima, this beautiful Muslima, she is saying, this is really stupid. And she is complaining about the Bible saying that the sun was created in the fourth day. How that can be? If we go back to her comment, just to just for a laugh, you will see she say more. She say book of Genesis, chapter one, verse number eleven, thirteen. Vegetation was created in the third day. Book of Genesis, one fourteen nineteen. Sun in the fourth day. How come vegetation came before sun? As vegetation requires sunlight so this Abdullah she agreed that there is no way the vegetation they can live without the sunlight or light at least you see you are an ignorant if you go in the book of Genesis you will see the first thing God he said let be light and light was so there is light God provided light before he created the Sun that's because you're ignorance now I want to go with you. You just said, how can the sun create to be created in the fourth day and the vegetation came before the sun? But this is exactly what the Quran is saying. The Quran is saying that Allah created the vegetation before all the stars to be created, not only the sun. And just to help you, I will give you a hand. I will go to your prophet, the prophet of the Abdul. He is the best to speak stand uh, stand up uh, comedy read carefully with me and try not to laugh at what you just said to us and now this muslima she will delete her comment after she watches this video and she will regret saying what she said muhammad is talking now this is not a christian prince this is not any Abdul. Please stand up, show respect. The Prophet, he been taught everything by Allah, which means he went to the most high school ever. He don't have a PhD. He don't speak. He don't, he don't even know how to write his name, but he knew everything because Allah told him. Allah the exalted, the, gl the glorious, created the clay in Saturday. The first day is what? Saturday. If you go to the to Zakir Naik, he says, Brother Tita. The Quran said Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days. But six days means six period. It's not six days like 24 hours. What a liar. <laughs> Even your prophet, he called it Saturday, you idiot. What a liar. <laughs> and he claimed that oh, those are millions of years. It is Saturday. And then he created the mountains on Sunday. Please take a note. I hope this Muslim actually will watch this video. And uh, she will decide to leave Islam already. Actually, she did because she is denying that such a thing can be accepted. So the first thing Allah created is the clay. Clay? Why the clay? I mean, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? The clay, we're like we're dust. Well, clay? It's a clay. If you say clay, that's mean water and then dust. It's not just even water, but but this is a contradiction for what he said later. So the first day is Saturday, and it is a clay. The second day, it is Sunday, and the mountains are created. And the third day, he created the trees. You remember? She said, how the trees is created before the sun? How the, how the vegetation is created before the sun? This is what she said. Your prophet saying exactly the same now. The trees created until now there is no sun. Then in one day, he created things in Thailand labor. Do you see it? This is Monday. In Tuesday, he created the light. 
<laughs> so how many days we have now she complained about the Bible creating the Sun let us go back let us go back to her comment let me zoom in so you can you guys can read better the text because YouTube text is small the Sun in the fourth day in the fourth day how can vegetation came before the Sun as vegetation requires sunlight you asked a question to your prophet in my Bible we have no problem because the first thing God created he said let be light and light was we have light already the Sun is not the only source of the light according to the Bible according to your prophet and according to the Quran when the vegetation was created the last thing Allah in the Quran created the stars and we show you the verse chapter if you forgot we can remind you chapter 41 verse number 12 the last stage of a creation Allah he created the stars if we go in the hadith which have proven Muhammad to be a liar because how he how come he don't match even what he say in the Quran here Muhammad he claimed that in the fourth day the light was created now remember uh, Abdullah you said that this is unscientific and obviously you are saying this is stupid so I want you to be consistent and I want you to write down uh, under this video that you're a prophet must be stupid too. Let me be honest. If you're creating the light in the fourth day in the Bible is stupid, that's meaning creating the light in the Quran and in Islam in the fourth day is stupid too. But you will never see her posting such a comment because they are hypocrite people. And not only that. The Quran says that Allah created the earth and the heaven in six days but if you count the days here you will find that the total is eight sorry seven starting from Saturday ending with a Friday afternoon in a Friday afternoon Allah created Adam and Adam said to him finish me Allah before the Sun set I'm not going to ask you how Adam he knew about the sunset and the guy is not even created yet But this is the funny prophet. He say funny stuff and Islam is a funny religion. So we have to laugh I wanted just to make this video to show you that Muslims they don't really uh, uh, have an argument because your book does not make sense They just have an argument to argue if this woman, if those Muslims they knew, by the way, I don't, I don't blame her. Someone like Didat, a Muslim, they think Didat is a big shot. Didat, he said the same thing. He said, how in your Bible it says that the sun created in the fourth day, Didat. And those Christians who were debating Didat, this is why Didat, he chose carefully, he debate who? He debate people who do not know anything about Islam. The day he debated Anish Sharush, and Anish Sharush, he humiliated him, did that never debated him again this is why they want to debate specifically Western American but not Arab so did that he made the same stupid question proving to us that did that he's just made fun of Allah how the Sun can be created in the fourth day so how the vegetation live but as you see it is your prophet who is saying that the sun was created in the fourth day and not only that the Quran is making it even more far the Quran says in chapter 41 that the last thing Allah created was the stars however this is nothing but a contradiction for other verses in the Quran while in chapter 41 verse number 12 it says that the last thing Allah created it was the stars if we go to chapter 79 we will find the opposite 
the order of a creation is totally different proving to us that the one who fabricated the Quran is nothing but a liar chapter 79 verse number 27 Allah he created the skies first number two he raised the sky up <laughs> How he can raise the sky? Where is the sky? I was. <laughs> then, and then he made the night and the day. So now he created the light. See, day and night. And then after that, he started working in the earth. And after that, he brought forth the water and the substance of the, the earth. And after that, he put the mountains. But look, this is totally the total opposite order from a chapter 41 in chapter 41 Allah created first the earth in two days then he placed the mountains and he created all the measured of the earth which mean water grass everything in four days and then he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he went in the sky after he went there he created seven heaven and he created the stars but this is totally the opposite of what it says in chapter 79 and here we notice clear evidence that the Quran is nothing but a silly book it cannot be the book of God it cannot be a book of Mickey Mouse it cannot even com be convincing for a child he is six years old now the Muslims they would try to play games to say oh he meant etc brother the earth was created and uh, they worked there and he came back this doesn't don't be a foolish it's a clear chapter 79 making it clear that Allah he created the sky and then he raised up the sky which is silly and then he made the day and the night which means the stars already created and then after that he start walking in the earth and after that he put the water and the grass and after that he put the mountains but in that chapter totally the opposite I mean how many times when you repeat it they are slow so how you Muslims always copy paste it's a copy based nation nobody read not only their prophet is ignorant they are ignorant too not only their prophet is illiterate and by the way even this illiterate thing is a stupid statement because nowhere it says that Muhammad do not know how to write how to read Muslims are ignorant even about their own cult if you go in the Quran you will find the following the illiterate in the Quran illiteracy is not about not knowing how to write how to read it's not about it's about not knowing the true God and not having a prophet and the book of God if we go <laughs> if you go in the Quran you will see the Quran how the Quran get them busted with their silliness they are silly they don't even know the religion in chapter 2 verse number 78 it says clearly who is the one illiterate and there are among them Jews and literate people. So, okay, there's many, there's, there's some of them, huh? there's illiterate people. And by the way, by the way, uh, doesn't say the word Jews, this is, this is uh, their claim. But the one who do not know the book is the one who don't have a book. If you go to the front verse, Or the one who did not learn the book if you go in the Quran you will see the Quran divide the people into major category the Ummiyin, which means those who don't have a book and those who don't have a book read carefully so if they dispute with you between two bracket Muhammad anything between two bracket doesn't exist this is fabrication see I have submitted it doesn't say submitted it says I surrender myself to Allah I mean this this translation is horrible and they say who we are giving the scriptures the Jews and the Christians 
it doesn't say those who are giving the scriptures. Let me change the translation because it says people of the book. There's a huge difference between saying those who've been giving the scriptures and saying <clears throat> people of the book. And I will tell you why. Because those who are giving the scriptures, uh, it can be anyone. But those who have been giving the book, because remember the Quran claimed that there's many prophets came before. The people of the book is a term, it's inclusive for the Christians and the Jews only. Here we go. We change the translator. Look what happened. Everything changed. This is why I say never accept a Muslim translation. They always fabricate. And they say, the people of the book, and those who they are unlearned. What is the word unlearned? al -umiyin. This is the word the Muslim, they say, well, the prophet, he was called Ummi. Ummi because he don't have a book, you idiot. Not because he do not know how to write, how to read. So, there's two kind of people exist in the Quran. There's people who they are unlearned. Unlearned about what? Writing and reading? No. Unlearned about God. And there's people who they are learned about God. This is why they call them people of the book. As simple as that. But as I said, they are silly. They do not know what their book even is about. Copy, paste, nation. Nobody understand what he is talking about. Uh, well, he can call me tomorrow. I'm not really, it's too late now. I'm not going to take any call. It's almost 2 a.m. in the morning for me. And I have my four wives waiting for me in the bedroom. And for my four mother-in-law, uh, uh, they are, uh, you know, they will be upset. Uh, <clears throat> I'm a Muslim. Alhamdulillah. This is the only thing they know. I'm Muslim. Anything you ask them a question about Islam, I'm Muslim. The second you ask them a question, uh, 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 you know, Allah knows best. Okay, this is Allah. Where do you get this from? Uh, I'm a Muslim. The Prophet, he said, the sunset in murky water, I'm a Muslim. Show them the proof that how someone written the Quran. My friend, there's no Quran. What written the Quran? There's no Quran written. Do you see this? I mean, if you read the Quran, you will see there's nothing. I mean, like You see, if you want to read about how the earth is created in the book and the Bible, you go to the book of Genesis. That's it. You find it. Where? This is this is like a, not even yellow pages. The story doesn't match. There's nothing like the whole chapter. What is the connection between this chapter, this verse, and the verse before it? Nothing. Nothing. What, this is a book? This is not a book. I will give you an example. <clears throat> Try not to laugh. In chapter 5, suddenly, Allah starts talking about food. Okay. And he said to them, I forbid for you to eat from this and this. But why? Nobody knows. If you ask the Muslims, why Why Allah forbidding you from eating this? If you ask the Jews, they give you the reasons. Muslims do not know. Oh, okay. Allah forbid us from eating this and this and this and this. Okay. And then suddenly he says, suddenly he says, look at this. This day, uh, 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 I have perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you this day just because you said to us we can eat hummus and we cannot eat falafel islam completed this day but remember this is the chapter five verse number three this is in the beginning of the quran so how chapter five verse number three it says that today I completed Islam for you. So Islam completed by saying to us, it's halal to eat hummus. It's not okay to eat pork. That's it. Islam is completed. 
this verse to be accurate or this sentence have to be the last verse in the Quran do you understand what I'm saying do you guys understand me in order for this verse to be accurate it have to be the last verse Jesus when he was on the cross he said it complete It makes sense what is this complete win complete after saying to us you cannot eat uh, falafel <laughs> there's a Muslim he have many ideas to get me busted my friend <laughs> go watch my videos <laughs> Uh, what okay do, uh, do you feel like you want to call me mr. Uh, the one who have many ayah do you feel like you want to call me do you feel like now you want to get me busted or tomorrow don't play dead now where is the guy he have many ayah when I get me busted he will stop moving his tail now <laughs> so look at this stupid uh, uh, you know uh, uh, there's no way imagine you are reading my books and then I say to you in page number two thank you for reading my book and today I perfected my book for you thank you very much and then after that I start saying to you tons of things how this can be from God the Quran is like a, a, let us say a teacher he have like a, 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 he, he was like writing like a book or let us say a, a brochure or something and he have it in a table and then suddenly somebody opened the door and he is next to the window and then the wind pushed all the papers and then a kid he collect the papers and he put them together so page number one, number one became became in the end. Page number end became at the front, and it's messed up. So when a Muslim he speak about Islam, we laugh. When he speak about Christianity, we laugh even more. The same as this woman, she is questioning how in the Bible it says that the sun is created in the fourth day. While here a prophet says that the sun was created in the fourth day. While here Quran says that the sun was created in the last day. While in different verses in the Quran, the Quran says that the sky was created first and then after that Allah created the stars. Total contradiction. Always remember that today we have a we have this guy. You remember a few hours ago called us. His name is Fadi. I feel sorry for him. This poor guy. He is desperately trying to defend his cult. And the second he have no idea what to say. He said, "I don't know what to say about this one. I do not know what to say about this one." No, no, this is not age, my friend. The Muslims, they copy paste. All of them, they're all, they, they, they will, you will find somebody. I just told you, this is a question. This is, she is not, this is not, those are not her question. Those are the that. This is the stupid the that. The that was 14 years old. This is exactly what the that he said. Muslims, they are copy paste people. They don't even read. They do not know how to read. So, uh, and by the way, like if you if you ask the Muslims, I mean, how Muhammad he says such a stupid thing here? Because look at this. Muhammad he claimed that Allah created Adam Friday afternoon. Correct? Okay, Friday in the morning. What what he was doing? <laughs> Why Allah he went to take he took a nap? <laughs> I mean, look at the details Muhammad he give you. It's very funny. 
he created Adam Friday afternoon he didn't say Friday no 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 it's Friday afternoon okay from the morning until afternoon what Allah was doing why Friday afternoon because here he says to us that uh, 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 he he uh, caused animals and spread them etc in Thursday okay we got that so Thursday Allah was busy all right and then he created Adam Friday afternoon so what what happened where what what happened the day the whole day all right and to make it more funny Muhammad he claimed that when Adam was created or in the process of a creation uh, Adam he said to Allah finish me before the sunset this is why the Quran says if you go to the interpretation you can go and read Ibn Kathir if you want chapter 17 verse number 11 you will see in Ibn Kathir and many other explanations they quote Muhammad saying from the hadith that when Allah created Adam uh, and Allah he breathed into Adam and the breath of Allah came down forward from his head down before his the breath of Allah arrived to his uh, foot <clears throat> All, uh, Adam he opened his eyes and he starts staring at his body and he wanted to move his limbs but he could not so he said to Allah Allah finish me before the sunset but Muhammad he cannot explain how in the world Adam he knew about the sunset the guy is just in the process of a creation Imagine I did not finish you yet, and then you say to me, and not only that, Adam he sneezed. You believe it? Adam he sneezed, and then uh, 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 Adam he said, Alhamdulillah. I mean, Adam he speak Arabic. Adam he sneezed, and he said in Arabic, Alhamdulillah. Right? Uh, Amelia are you a female are you a female Amelia okay I have an offer for Amelia are you willing to call me Amelia are you willing to call me are you there you are calling me names I'm not blocking you but I can show everybody that you are really foolish are you willing to call me Why you don't like Matthew chapter 5 compare the Matthew chapter 5 with this garbage <laughs> It's a book of wisdom What's your problem with Matthew 5 18 19 can you tell me so we can laugh at you or maybe you can laugh at us Are you there? Madness. Let me play for you, Matthew, just to bless our soul with the wisdom of the Lord. Shall we? Listen carefully. Matthew 5. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit. For theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Look at the beautiful teaching. Look at the beautiful talking. Look at the beautiful talking and look at Allah saying to them, Today I perfected your religion for you because you cannot eat falafel. Listen to this and compare to the madness in the Quran. F. While Jesus is a blessing everybody, the Quran is cursing everybody. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Allah the merciful, right? Allah the merciful, who said, kill them wherever you find them, uh, ch chop their fingers, torture them, put nails in their eyes, crucify them, cut their hands, Blessed the merciful. Allah is not a blessed. Neither Muhammad. They are evil.
Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Was Muhammad a peacemaker? Or Allah, he ordered him to kill everybody unless he convert to Islam. He said, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say the Shahada and they pray as we pray and they slaughter as we slaughter and they pay the zakat. They have to pay him money. And then and only then I will stop shedding their blood. Blessed be the peacemaker. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake. We are blessed, my friend. You are not. You are not. You are the one who persecute the Christians. I just saw the news in Burkina Faso. Christians are looking for refuge. They are attacking their churches. They are shooting them in the street. You kill us, we are blessed. And you are doomed. But theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you and persecute you. Look at this ignorant here, Fadi Harun. He said that according to the Bible, it says, You think I came to make peace on earth? No, I came to separate between the Father and the Son. You see how stupid you are? He is saying that those who follow me, they will be persecuted. He said, Time will come and people will think by killing you, they are doing favor to God. He said, They will be persecuted you. So you are silly and you are stupid like your prophet. You take a verse, read the verse after it, and you see what exactly he's talking about. But silly, you are a, you are a Muhammadan. What you can do? It's not, it's not, it cannot, you cannot change because you are a Muhammadan. You have a demon inside you. You are not honest. In there, he, did, did Jesus kill anyone? Did he take a sword? Did he have an army? I mean, you are being silly and stupid. What he meant there, that you Muslims will kill us. That people will bring us out of the synagogue and they will put us, put us to death. It is not the Christians who would do that. Shame on you. You are a coward like your prophet. Disgusting. And shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad. For great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have not lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. You see a difference between the teaching of Christ? While Muhammad was allowing Muslims to do muta and rent Muslim women in the elevator for five minutes for six, Jesus was ordering everybody who follow him, and he made it clear. Not everyone says to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. We don't believe in stupid shahada. We don't believe in the bribing God, giving him donation. We don't believe by saying two words, our sin forgiven. Not everyone says to me, God, God. Islam is a silly cult. Muhammad, he says, if you touch a black stone, touching them, kissing them, that erase your sin because he's a pagan. Muhammad, he says, if you repeat, Alhamdulillah, 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 33 times or 30 times, that will forgive your sin. If you say, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, 30 times, Allah will forgive your sin. If you say, Bismillah, 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 Allah will forgive your sin. 
stupidity, cult, ritual, but no spirit and no value. Voodoo. Repeat this after me. Let us do voodoo. It's a stupid voodoo. This is why we cannot really compare between the teaching of Christ and the silly Quran. Quran is a actually the word silly is an insult to silly. Somebody is silly, he might be angry from me. This donkey never answer the questions. <laughs> My friend, why you keep using the word donkey? Let me let me tell you who is the donkey. The Quran says that the donkey is the one who carry a book and he don't understand it, and that is you. Because you pray to Allah, you read a book in Arabic, but your language is not Arabic. So you pray to Allah, Bismillah, Allahman, Allahim, Auzubillah, and you ask you, what does that mean? You do not know. Isn't it the Quran says that those who carry books, they are the same as donkey? Who is the donkey here? When we ask you about any verse in the Quran, you say, Allah knows best. And then we go to the interpretation. We will find that every Muslim interpretation gives us different interpretation from the previous uh, a scholar. Why? Because Allah knows best. Do you know why? Because this is a book carried by donkeys. Nobody understands. And even you, you say to us that Muhammad was illiterate. So that is perfectly a donkey. A guy who brought us a book, but he himself cannot read it. Have you ever heard of a, such a, st a stupid story like this before? He brought us the book, but he himself cannot read it. Do you believe it? And you are calling me donkey. And by the way, your prophet, he married a woman. Her last name is Jash, which means donkey. And your prophet, last name is Kilab, which means dogs. So what's wrong with you? And Fadi Harun, his last name is Cat. Ask him. This is what Harun means. I mean, what's wrong with you? Quran is a zoo. You can call me names, but you can't answer me. And you know what? You cannot even make a donkey, even though that Muhammad, he claimed that animals, they converted to Islam. But a donkey is smarter than believing in whatever is mentioned in the Quran. Who in the Quran can believe in this madness? Let's see what uh, Harun is saying. Allah told us to study the Quran. Come on, Abdul, what study the Quran? You see, you idiot. You idiot, you are a certified idiot. Guys, today, Fadi, didn't he say to us that the scholars of Islam who explain chapter 86, verse number 7 and 6, they get it wrong? Did he say that? Did he say those scholars, they did not do the right thing? Okay, so now the scholars of Islam, who they are scholars, did they study the Quran? Yes, and they come with the wrong conclusion according to you. So how silly studying the Quran is. Or maybe you're just admitting that the Quran is a silly book, stupid book, very confusing book. Aren't you the one who says to us, the scholars, they get it wrong? But all your scholars were against you today. All of them. And suddenly you became a scholar. You are the one who do not even know how to pronounce your prophet name correctly. Hypocrites. Study the Quran. You study the Quran. How you can study the Quran? Your prophet himself, he says in the Quran, nobody understand the Quran. <laughs> Let us show you what the Quran says about understanding the Quran. <laughs> I'm really, what a comedy. <laughs> All right. This Quran, according to Muhammad, Full of stuff, nobody knows what it means, save Allah. <laughs> it 
And if you seek the meaning, the true meaning of the Quran, you are making fitna, which means you are causing trouble. Don't seek the meaning. Please don't try to seek the meaning. <laughs> If you try to seek the meaning of the Quran, you are causing the trouble. This is what fitna mean. How in the world you say to me that the Quran, we've been ordered to study the Quran, but the Quran is saying to you that those who seek their meaning, they are seeking trouble and seeking for its hiding meaning. But none knows the hiding meaning save Allah. I mean, who is the stupid here? Allah, he sent us a book. Nobody knows the meaning of it save Allah. Well, nice to meet you, Allah. I'm going to give you now a verse. Nobody knows what it means save a Christian prince. So why you are you sending me the book? A brother and sister. I'm going to give you a book. And that book, nobody knows the meaning of it save Allah. And the brother... In order to be in the in Islam, you say, I believe. The Quran says that the scholars is the only one who says we believe, not the one who understands. Do you see it? Do you see it? Those are the scholars. The one who believe in the clear and clear doesn't matter. Clear and clear doesn't matter. Clear and clear, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and this is called a scholar. <laughs> I want to be a Muslim. <laughs> I want to get the versions. <laughs> you know what? You will go to the you will go to the heaven. You will not find any versions, my friend. I'm assure you they will have something really horrible. They are not versions. They are not. Hmm? They might even have a tail. What a crazy religion. This is God. But because Muhammad is a thief, they ask him, what do you mean in here? He do not know. You see, if you are, if you write a book or you bring something and it's not yours, you cannot answer, I cannot, I cannot explain because it's not your idea. It's not, it's not, it's not your knowledge. It is something you stole from somebody else. So ask me not. I don't know. Only Allah knows. And why Allah will give me verses and chapters and Quran and the funny in the same Quran Allah he says and this is the book we explain in details <laughs> we explain in details and you are saying to me that this book have a lot of things nobody knows what they mean so what you are and he is saying to us the purpose of those verses brother to cause a trouble what so the Quran is not a book of guidance the Quran is the book of trouble this is what the verse is saying those who seek the hiding meaning of them, they are trying to cause fitna, problems, division. Don't seek the mean of them. This is how it's stupid the Quran. Anyway, guys, don't forget to uh, download the video. I'm not going to stay longer. It's already 2 a.m. in the morning here in my time. And uh, as you know, it is Ramadan, so I have to eat a big turkey. We Muslims, we fast, brother. We sleep all day and we eat all night. What a fasting. This is why in the month of Ramadan, the price of food goes so crazy, skyrocketing in Islamic countries. And Muslims, they gain weight and a lot of them, they have heart attack because they disturb the system of their body and they are eating wrongly and they exceed the limit of how much you eat. They claim that they are fasting, but the fact it is a, food month this is the truth hypocrite hypocrisy it is the month of hypocrisy no one is fasting they are eating more getting more fat more violence thank you very much for being here if you like to learn more about the cult of islam don't forget to read my books you can search for them in amazon they've been in your country we have my books in many languages including spanish uh, english german you name it and actually soon we will publish two more books in german and one more book in spanish so we will have two books in spanish 
and if you have a friends please tell them and I'm so glad that Muslims are buying and reading my books and uh, it's very exciting to see a lot of Muslims learning about their cult and they are leaving Islam and I'm so happy to see that happening and I pray that those who watch our videos they be honest with themselves for a minute what I showed you today is a clear evidence that Islam is a cult it's false somebody's asking me did you see the video of Imam Tawhidi and David Wood no I'm not going to see it too uh, I saw an icon for it in YouTube and the recommendation but I'm not going to watch it because this guy Tawhidi is just a scam he's a false man he prays Taqiyya he's a Shia Shia if the Muslim they lie 100% Shia, they lie one thousand percent. Never, never, never trust a word they say to you. They are Shia. Even two Shia, when they speak to each other, they say to him, they say to each other, "Are you are you doing taqiyya with me, or you are speaking honest now?" Shia don't even believe Shia. They don't even believe each other. So what, Tawhidi? And what 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 make this guy Imam? <laughs> Imam, and the funny he was making f fun of the violence of the of uh, of the Sunni. His Ali, he burned people alive. He burned them alive. His Imams, they say, the Ali, he said, kill those who change their religion. Liars, my friend. Shia. Welcome to Iran, the country of hate. Every day in the morning, they say death to America, death to Israel. So Tawhidi is the only Shia is different. What is that? No, they are playing Taqiyya. He live in the West. Take him to Qum, take him to Iran, and you will see he will he will make a different speech. Hypocrite. All of them they are the same. Anyway, thank you guys for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, uh, I will give you today a vacation. Today is Sunday, uh, and maybe uh, God is willing, uh, Monday I will be back. But you never know. I might get excited by somebody, a Muslim, he challenged me for something, so I might come back. Sometimes I cannot resist the temptation of the foolishness of Islam. Foolishness, unbelievable, amazing. Sometimes I ask myself, how God he created those? I mean, people who want to commit suicide to get versions. Yeah, right, she's waiting for you. Cut yourself pieces. Yeah, she will take you there and she will glue you together. Uh-huh. And she will look for your private part. The first thing she will find after you explode yourself is your private penis. Flying in the wind. Uh, she will snatch it with no mercy. What a stupid cult. Garbage in, garbage out, my friend. That is Islam. Thank you very much. Don't forget to download the video. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And see you soon again. Bye-bye.